I'm Derek Johnson with Tatango.com, and today I'm going to be talking about short codes and keywords. Both are part of text message marketing and really a critical part of text message marketing. So let's first start off with short codes. A short code is a five to six digit phone number that is used by brands to communicate to their customers. So there's two kinds of short codes though. There's a vanity short code and a non-vanity short code. A vanity short code is a short code that the brand picks specifically. Now, as you can see from some of these examples here, a lot of brands will pick a phone number that looks really good because it's easy to remember, easy to type into the mobile phone. So 31310 is, I'm guessing, a vanity phone number. 25666, that's most likely a vanity phone number. Things like 237687 most likely are not a vanity phone number because it's not only six uh, numbers, which is more than five obviously, so it's a little harder to remember, plus there's no like symmetry in the numbers. Now the only thing that could make this a vanity phone number is the brand selected these numbers because on the dial pad, maybe they spell something that relates to the brand. Couple others here, uh, good one, Redbox, 727272, that's obviously vanity, 323232, that's a vanity phone number. Let's see if we can find another non-vanity, which would be maybe like 273283, you know, that really doesn't have that much symmetry there, so I'm guessing that would be a non-vanity uh, short code. This one to 876642, could be possibly a non-vanity short code. A vanity short code is going to cost a brand uh, to lease it $1,000 a month, where a non-vanity short code is gonna cost one or sorry, $500 a month to lease a non-vanity short code. So $1,000 a month for a vanity short code and $500 a month for a non-vanity short code. I prefer vanity for the additional $500 a month it's definitely worth it because it's easier for consumers to remember, type in their phone, uh, it's just a better experience overall and for the extra $500 a month, I, I think it's worth it for most brands. So now let's talk about keywords. So there's a couple different, there's actually two different sets of keywords. One is keywords that are system keywords. So these are gonna be your help, stop, um, you know, things that are very generic to all short codes across the industry. Then there's going to be what I like to call your interaction keywords. These can be things like, uh, so if I want to interact with a campaign and I want to join a campaign, I could text join three, that could be a keyword, and this would be a keyword to opt in to a recurring text messaging campaign. Now join three, I could have pizza as my keyword, I get to select which keywords I want for which campaigns. So join three is for a opt-in campaign and I would text yes to opt-in to my campaign. And then now the brand can send text messages in the future recurring basis to this mobile phone number. Another type of keyword could be for non-recurring text messaging. So this could be uh, same uh, short code, but I could use the keyword, let's say app four, and this would be a keyword that would trigger a non-recurring text message campaign. So this would say to download our free mobile app, click here. This is not actually opting anybody into a text messaging campaign. This is just sending information back to the consumer that they requested. So that's kind of a high level summary of both what short codes are, you have the vanity and non-vanity, and then what keywords are. And essentially keywords, there's system keywords, and then there's interaction keywords, and within those interaction keywords, there are recurring interactions, so opting in for future text messages, and then non-recurring or single message programs, as we call them, that essentially just send back one message, and that's the end of the conversation. So hopefully that helps, gives you a little background for SMS marketing, and now you're an expert at what short codes and keywords are.